All right, guys. Here is a, a very difficult problem. <laughs> it's another grams to grams, uh, but this time in this problem, they're asking us a two-part question. So uh, they tell us in the very beginning of this thermite reaction uh, that um, there is 86 grams of, of iron produced. So I'm going to label 86 grams of Fe there and they want to know what is the minimum mass in grams of Fe2O3 which is iron 3 oxide needed so they want to know grams so here's the number sign grams uh, what is the minimum mass in grams of Fe2O3 needed and then they also ask how much Al2O3 is produced okay so they asked me about that so that's the number of grams of this so I'm going to have to go from grams of this to grams of that then grams of this to grams of that. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. But it's just it's two steps. So my first step, I'm going to go from this one, from this one to this one. Okay. Now, if you look, uh, they did give us the molar mass of uh, of both of these. They told us the molar mass of Fe2O3. They told me the molar mass of it was uh, 159. 0.489. They tell me the molar mass of Al2O3 is 101.961, but they never did tell me the molar mass of Fe. That's on your periodic table. The molar mass of uh, Fe is 55.85. Okay, and don't don't forget all these are grams. Now all these are my molar masses. I got those off of the periodic table. Or I sat and calculated them by hand and got them. Hey, Daddy. Now, my, my, my boy Solar won't go, go forward. Wait a second. I'll go look at it. Okay. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start with this given. Okay? So we have 86 grams of Fe. Okay, I'm going to put that over 1. Now, I've got to go to this one first. This is the one I'm going to go to first. This is the one I'm going to do second. Okay, so here's my first one. I'm going to go from 86 grams of Fe and go uh, to the iron 3 oxide. So down here, uh, I need to know the molar mass of Fe because this has to be grams of Fe. Now, the molar mass of Fe is 55.85. And that means that that... Uh, sorry, that's my son. That's one mole of Fe. Now, looking at the balanced equation, there's two moles of Fe. So here comes two moles Fe. Now, I've got to figure out how many moles of Fe203 are here. Well, there's a one in front of that. Okay. Now, so I'm going to write one mole of Fe203. Christian, please stop. Now, down here, this will be moles of Fe2O3. Now, remember, any times past the second and third times of writing moles, you will always write a one. So here, I will write, I will write one mole of Fe2O3. Now, the molar mass of Fe2O3 is right there, 159.489 grams of Fe2O3. Okay, after that you just use a little handy dandy cheater later and you punch it in. We have 86 times 1 times 1 times 159.489 and that's going to be divided by 55.85 and divided by 2. Now when I do that I end up getting 122.7936795. Now, sig figs, I only had two sig figs, so I'm going to write down, uh, I can write it down this way. I can write it uh, 1.2 times 10 to the second grams of Fe2O3, or I can get by just by writing 120, because my first two sig figs are right here and I can't round uh, the 122 to 130 so I'm just going to leave it 120 uh, grams of Fe2O3 so 
I will take either one of these two answers here. Now that's the first part. Okay. Now let's do the second part. Okay. Second part's going to look a lot like the first because I'm going to be going from 86 grams of Fe. Okay. So I'm just pretty much going to copy what I already have here. That's if you've done it correctly. I would copy it. If you haven't, then I definitely would not copy it. Okay. We have two moles of Fe there. Now, this is where it changes. We're talking about moles of Fe, and now we're talking about this. So that's going to be one mole, because there's a one right there, just like there was a one here. So that's one mole of Al2O3. Now, after the molar ratio, you will always go back to writing one again. So that's one mole of al 2 O3. Now you need the molar mass up here. Now the molar mass of al 2 3 is 101.961 grams of what was it? Uh, al 2 3 and that's aluminum oxide. Okay, but we definitely need that in our thermite reaction. All right, we actually need all these. We have 86 times 1 times 1 times 101.961. Divided by 55.85 and divided by 2. And that gives us 78.5017547. Now, as far as uh, sig figs, we need two sig figs. The 7 8 will suffice. Look to the right. Now, remember, in sig fig rules of rounding, if the number to the right is a 5, if the number is even, it stays even. So you should really just write 78. Okay. Now, if you wrote 79, I would probably just write minus 1 down, something like that. But technically, it's supposed to be 78 because I know 5 normally in traditional math, you would write 79 there. But in sig fig rules, if the number is even and the number to the right is a 5, it stays even. So that's 78 grams of a L two O three. And if you did want to write that in scientific notation just to make it look like that one, it'd be seven point eight times ten to the first A L two O three. So just in case those of you that wanted to write in scientific notation, that's seven point eight times ten to the first, which you don't have to write the one, but it's a bad habit. Grams of A L two O three. Alright, guys, I hope this helps.